from The Pinning Mama. If you are joining me on YouTube, hop on over to the blog. It's at www.thepinningmama.com. Last week, we learned all about the features in the Transform panel. And this week, we are going to learn all about Print and Cut from start to finish. Print and Cut is a feature when you create a design in Silhouette, send it to your printer to be printed, then take it back to your Silhouette Cameo to be cut. Um, it's a really fun feature. I will walk you step by step in how to use it because sometimes it can be a little intimidating until you use it once and then you'll love it. Um, I decided to make a birthday banner for my boy's birthday party and I wanted to use the print and cut feature. And what I did is I um, went to the Silhouette Design Store and bought these basketballs. Um, and then I also just figured out the lettering I wanted and I ended up using the font it's called Impact is the font that I used for all of these letters. And then I, um, so that's kind of how I figured out. I really like this font for banners because it's kind of a chunky font. Um, sorry about that. Um, so what I do when I make banners, a little side note, is I take the first letter and I get it to the size that I want it. And then what I do is I copy this letter and then, um, or duplicate, whatever you want to do, and then paste the letter, or just duplicate it, and then I change the letter, say I wanted to do an A next, and then I change the letter to A. That way, all of your letters um, end up being the exact same size. So that's how I make banners, is I duplicate the first letter, and then just change the actual letter that's inside. So that way, everything's the exact same size throughout your whole banner. So that's kind of a tidbit of information. Um, I kind of miss what I did here is I put the words all together so that it would fit on a page to be printed. Um, so I'm going to start uh, and show you kind of how to get ready to print and then send this to your printer. The right hand side of your screen right here, this paper, is the page setup. Page setup is very important when you're doing print and cut. Uh, the first thing you want to check is you want to check to make sure that the size of paper that going to your printer is the size of paper that you have here. Sometimes you have standard printers where it's a 9 by 12 and that's the kind of paper you're printing on. Sometimes you can have custom paper going through your printer. This one's going to be a 12 by 12. Um, and you also want to make sure that you click, I want to show my printer border, so that's what my printer's capable of printing, and I want to show my cut border and the cut border is in red, and that's the border that the silhouette's capable of printing or cutting, I should say. So this gray border is what my printer is going to print. And this, these are very important to always have checked because you want to make sure that what you're sending to your printer is actually going to be printed correctly on your paper and not be off a little bit or, or any of that. Um, Next, you're going to want to go to the third tab right here. This is your registration marks tab. And what registration marks are is it when you send this paper after you've printed it to your Silhouette Cameo to be printed, that's what the Silhouette, silhouette Cameo reads and correctly cuts what you've printed. It's kind of a cool thing. I have a whole blog post on registration marks and how to use them. And in the post, I will link that for you so you can read it all about registration marks and how to use them. So what you want to do is you want to turn your registration marks on and the biggest thing is you want to make sure that none of your design is touching your registration marks and you also still want it to be inside your print border. So that's why I've moved it all around my letters and my basketballs all around so that none of it's touching these registration marks all along here. Okay, now you're ready to send this to your printer. So what you would do is you would go up after you have your registration marks on, you have your page set up correctly and your show printer marks and your show cut border. You'd go up here and you'd go to print. So I would send that to my printer. I would print that off. And then when you get your, when you go get your paper from your printer, it's going to look pretty much like this. So 
you take your printer, you probably want to print it on cardstock or something a little thicker so that when you send it to your cameo, you can actually cut it and not have a hard time getting it off. Then you want to make sure you have a mat selected. Are you going to be putting it on a mat or are you going to send it through your cameo with no mat? That way, this shows you where you need to place your paper on your mat, and then your cameo knows, okay, I need to start cutting after the mat so that you're cutting so that you don't it doesn't cut off. So right here it's showing that I have the mat. I'm gonna stick my paper on my mat just like this. You want the arrow to be facing, this is what you're gonna put into your cameo. I'm gonna put my printed paper that looks just like this onto my mat, and then you're gonna to go to send. Um, you want to make sure you have the right paper selected and then um, it's going to so right here it's going to send all of this and it's going to know that these are your registration marks and it's going to cut all of my design. It's a little intimidating, it's a little scary, but I promise you that use a couple times, maybe trying a paper that you not your say you wanted to just try it out on a plain white piece of cardstock paper, put these letters on, try it a couple times, um, and you can do that and get really comfortable with it. Uh, print and cut is great for stickers, if you have the printable sticker paper. Um, it's great for making banners. I always use it for banners. I also made one for my daughter's birthday and I'll do another post on that one. Um, I, cupcake toppers is a great way to use it. So you can print them, cut them, and then stick them on a little cup cupcake topper, topper for homemade cards um, and much, much more. So once you get comfortable with print and cut, I promise you will love this feature. Um, that's all I have for you this week. Tune in next week to learn all about the stipple panel in Silhouette Studio. Thanks, guys.